Hello folks and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Denise and I'm so glad you're here. Today we're going to be making uh, my famous mashed potatoes. And if you think, oh mashed potatoes, those are so bland, uh, then you haven't had these mashed potatoes. Uh, these have a complexity of flavor that um, will appeal to adults and they're just so creamy and wonderful that children will like them as well. So. Uh, stay tuned. Um, obviously, you'll need potatoes. Um, I make these with uh, heavy cream, so you'll need some heavy cream or double cream, depending upon where you live in the world. You'll also need uh, salt and pepper to taste and some butter. Uh, you'll also need a pot, a spoon, you know, and various other equipment that we'll get into as we go along. The first thing I do is I wash my potatoes really good. And, um, and I make mine in a large quantity. Um, I only make these once a week or once every other week. And so I make 15 pounds at a time. I will, I will adjust this recipe and leave it in the description box below for you so that it's in a normal quantity for the average household. Uh, but for myself, I create it, I, I make, it, make it in a large batch. Uh, so I only have to do it once in a while. So, um, so, I wash my potatoes first and then I peel them. Um, I, I don't particularly care for the peels on the potatoes. You can leave the peels on if you prefer, uh, but for me, I remove them. Um, I use russet potatoes, but you can use any kind of potato you like. You can use Yukon Gold, you can use uh, red potatoes, uh, anything you like. After I peel them, uh, I wash them really good, uh, make sure all the dirt is off, uh, because who wants to eat dirt, right? <laughs> And after they're clean, then I cut them up and I make sure that I cut them in, um, in, a, in a width that is commensurate with the, with the slicer size that I'm going to be using. And I'll show you that. So, so you can see that it winds up being a, a nice even dice. And the reason we want to do it in an even dice is so that it cooks evenly. Uh, you, you want your potatoes to cook evenly throughout so you don't have some that are done and some that are not done. You don't want to be biting into mashed potatoes and have um, heavy lumps in them. And you know, maybe you do. <laughs> I particularly uh, like regular mashed potatoes that have a uh, cream to them rather than a lot of uh, lumps throughout. Uh, but uh, you can do, you can do you. you. You can have the lumps if you prefer. So after they're all cut up, then I put them through my dicer. Uh, I can do this by hand, but a dicer is so much easier. If you want to know more about this particular one, I can link it in the description box below or just leave me a comment. And uh, so then I, I dice all of them up and I put them in the pot or pots that I'm using. For me, when I'm using uh, an entire bag, which is 15 pounds of potatoes, then I need two pots. So uh, after that, then I, I use my homemade stock. Um, I use in this video, I'm using a combination of homemade turkey stock, which I made after Thanksgiving, and homemade chicken stock. Um, if you want to know how to make either one of those, then I can, I can make a video just like this. I make sure that I cover the potatoes with enough stock so they're fully covered by at least an inch, by at least an inch of stock, so they can boil and, and evaporate a little bit and not run dry. So uh, after that, I put a lid on it, put it on the stove on high, and I let them boil until they're fork tender. And then after they're done, I drain the potatoes really well. I use this little pot drainer that I got years ago. I can find one if you're interested in it. I can find one and link it in the description box. Again, just leave me a comment if you're interested. Otherwise, I won't bother. <laughs> and then next, I bring the pot over to the counter and put butter of course everything's better with butter and so i put butter on top and uh, mash that in and i add the heavy cream and start mixing that with my hand mixer and once that's all combined and mixed really well and i have it to the consistency i like then i'll um, switch the beaters for a, uh, a wire whisk for the hand mixer and we'll continue to mix it until it's pretty smooth. Um, again, you know, I don't, I don't like big lumps, but, um, but I don't mind small ones. It reminds me of my mom. And so I let those go and uh, then I pour it into a container, clean up the kitchen and, uh, and I'm ready for the next thing. Okay, so now for the taste test of these mashed potatoes. Here we go. My favorite dish and I know I'm going to love them. 
Mm. They're so creamy. You can taste just the right amount of seasoning in there. The cream. I can tell that I've used that whisk to whip it up. Very few lumps in there. You'll want to try these mashed potatoes. If you think they're boring and bland, this recipe will change your mind. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a like and leave me a comment. I enjoyed having you in my kitchen today and look forward to seeing you again. Until my next upload, be safe and be well. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.